This is the May June 2023, paper 2, variant 1. Question 1. Okay, terrarium uh, is given uh, in this uh, question. Um, the mass number is uh, 130. And uh, you must get the proton number from periodic table, which is 52. So we can get the neutron number now. 130 minus 52, we get 78. So the nuclear number, which is the mass number, so it's 130. Neutron number is 78. Because the terrarium given is neutral, and the electrons number must same as proton number, 52 also. Okay, B. Identify the subshell in an atom of Te that contains electron with lowest energy. Lowest energy uh, subshell, it must be 1s subshell. Okay, so this one is understandable because it's lowest energy. Construct an equation to present the first IE of Te. Okay, this one you must include the state symbol. So it must be the gases atom to form gases ion. And one mole of gases atom form one mole of gases ion, remove one mole of electron. So this one is the, the equation right, for the first IE. Okay, D1. The radius of Te ion decreases after each successive ionization energy. So it becomes smaller. So means uh, Te positive okay, is larger than Te2 positive. 2 positive is larger than Te3 and so on. State two factors that are responsible for the increase in the first 6 IE of Te. For the first 6 IE, you have to understand it's always increasing. It will not be up and down. Because when the electrons remove from the elements, so it will form positive, after that 2 positive, 3 positive, until 6 positive in this case. So the proton number is actually the same same proton number but we know that the electrons number actually is getting less and the electrons actually will give the, the effects we call shielding effects when electrons is lesser shielding effect is lesser so means the proton charge in the te it will act stronger on the remaining electron because when electrons remove one by one, the remaining electron okay, is lesser than before and the proton charge will act stronger on those remaining electrons. Uh, that's why the first factor is this one. Increased nuclear attraction. Nuclear number means the nucleus, the proton's number is still the same, but the attraction is now stronger. Okay, to the remaining electron because what because decreased shielding by the subshell so what is the decreased shielding by subshell okay we use this one as example when the first four ie so electrons will remove one by one until all these four electrons removed and the fifth electron is from 5s. Okay, when all these remove, the fifth electron is from 5s, and the 5s actually is lower energy level than 5p. It gets closer to the nucleus. That's why the attraction to this 5s electron is stronger, it's harder to remove. And this 5s electron is has lesser shielding compared to these four electrons. Uh, that's we means uh, decrease shielding by subshell. Okay, because uh, the subshell, the five p has more subshell to give the shielding effects. Uh, that's the meaning, uh, especially 
i.e. 4 to 5 uh, because there is a different that's involved the different subshell. Okay, part two, you need to sketch the first seven, seven IE. Okay, in order to sketch this nicely, you need to know the electron configuration and how they're removed. For the first four IE, because we know that they are all from 5P subshell, and the energies that needed is not really uh, uh, much different between them. That's why you need to draw a line, less steep line, from the first to the fourth, i.e. And after that, when the fifth electron removed, means this one, right, from the 5s, so you have to draw a line that's steeper than before because it needs to use a higher energy. Or greater IE now and of course the fifth and uh, six also similar okay but when there is a uh, from the fourth to fifth IE you have to draw steeper then five to six go up further ah. then after all these six electrons removed the Seven electron is from the inner shell, the core electrons. The first six electrons is valence electron, and the seventh electrons that remove is from the inner shell, we call core electrons. So greater energy needed to remove one electron from the 4D means the inner shell. That's why you have to draw the steepest line from six to Okay, so that's all for this drawing. Okay, so for part E, to react with F2 at 150 degrees C to form TEF, okay, subscript X, molecules of TEF subscript X are octahedral with bond angle 90 degree. Uh, so, First, you need to know how the uh, octahedral looks like. So it's telling you Te is going to bond to 6 fluorine. It's confirmed. Because with 6 fluorine, then it can form octahedral structure like this. And of course, the bond angle all here, they are 90 degree. All 90. Okay, explain why Te F6 is octahedral with this bond angle. Now it's very easy. So if we know it's T, T E F6, so here they, they are 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 bonding electrons and 0 lone pair. When the <clears throat> molecule or the central atom is bonded with six bonding pair and zero lone pair, then it will be octahedral. So you must explain this first. How many bonding pair, how many lone pair? Okay, around the TE. Or you can mention how many coordination number. Okay, so six foreign, six coordination number. But coordination number, uh, this part is uh, quite tricky. Uh, you're going to really learn that in the transition elements in A2, right? So you just stick with this. And at the end, of course, you need to say this six bonding pair, they repelled equally to give this octahedral geometry. Okay, the TeF6 react with water to form terillium hydroxide and HF. So these are the products that you must put in. The oxidation number of terillium, no change. So we know that, okay, uh, it initially is 
positive 6 means here is positive 6 at the end still positive 6 so means it's telling you that all the following now is has been substituted and it will be TEOH okay, 6 6 hydroxide okay, bonded to this TE and you just need to put the HF and you balance it so you get this equation and name the type of reaction F part 2 reaction that occur when TEF6 react with water so this compound react with water form another compound so this involves the TE and F bonding breaking so this we call hydrolysis so because it's react with water form another compound so we call hydrolysis that's all thank you